As you might be able to tell at this point, I love comfort food. Let's make some shepherd's pie. Jicama mash. Jicama mash is super easy. Parboil it for five minutes. Roast it for another 20. Try not to get any color on it. It's no big deal if you do. Let's cook out some of that riced cauliflower, my nemesis. Um, but it can be good. And I just proved it. Um, cooking a little butter, a little salt. Get all the moisture out of it. That's all you got to do. Um, we're going to set this stuff aside and get cranking on our filling. Look at all that fresh veg. So delicious. A little black garlic, thyme, and majorum too. Super, super good. Let's get our shallots cooking. Add our beef. Now, we're not going to overcook this. We're going to cook everything till it's just through seasoning as we go. We don't want our, our, our veg to be mushy and gross. We want to bite to everything. So we're going to take our time. This is, I would say, eight minutes if I had to guess. Um, and at the very, very end, we're going to add our, our green beans because I want that color in the final dish. Um, guys, this is super simple. You can do it at home. It's no big deal, honestly. Let's make a little mash. So um, our jicama, butter, salt. Um, I'm using coconut milk, by the way, or else we'd really heavy on dairy. Um, we're going to go ahead and, and poach it in that liquid for a little while, about 15 minutes, add our rice cauliflower and get our blend on. Um, you can run it through a sieve after if you want, if you want it extra smooth, but I, I, I don't I don't necessarily do that. A little make a roux. This is... All this is coconut oil and bone broth powder. It makes a beautiful roux, no joke. A little, a little beef paste too, because I want a richness. Some cream cheese, some more of that coconut milk, salt. Remember to season as you go, taste as you go. Now we're gonna mix in that uh, our veg and meat from earlier. We're gonna fold that in together. Now let's make the crust for the bottom. So we're gonna do one cup of our mash plus one cup of cheese. Spread it on the bottom. Nice and easy. This is a well-greased pan, by the way. Um, you can use any pan you want. Um, this is what I like to use. Dollop, dollop, dollop of our mash. Um, and we're going to spread it pretty even. Try to be try to be careful. And if you notice that cheese up there, that is an Irish cheddar uh, that I love. It's a white Irish cheddar. It's super good in this. So let's see. Guys, this is so, so good. Like, this is, it stands on its own two legs. I hope you make this. Um, I'm really, really hopeful. Take care.